Hello everyone, I would like to show you the new Golden 7mm Magnum Bullpup Rifle. You could only get this rifle during the 2016 Football Jamboree event. This rifle will never be available in the store to purchase and you won't gain any extra hunter score from using it. So it's more of a collector's item than anything else. So let's have a look at it, shall we? Okay, so here we have the Golden 7mm. Here's the aim down sights. Not a big fan of the aim down sights. I think they could be better. They're the same as the original 7mm. It's a bit hard to determine where you aim with the iron sights on this gun. I've always had trouble. The little red line that's going down the middle, I'm not sure whereabouts to aim with that or whether to aim at the steel sort of plating at the back there of the iron sights. But anyway, here's the actual gun itself. Quite nice. The only downside to this is, unfortunately, they have the artwork on the other side of the gun. Yes, that's right. Looks like there's three deer and some trees on this side of the gun. For some reason, they decided to put the artwork on this side of the gun. Would it be nice if they put the artwork on the other side in first person mode so you can see it? It's a bit difficult to see otherwise. You really have to zoom in. And the wood stock is quite nice. Other than that, it behaves pretty much the exact same as the ordinary 7mm. And of course, if you wanted to see a bit more of the artwork here, it's only got pretty much 7mm magnum and some confetti work going on there. Here's the reload. I'll try my best to hit targets. Okay, so it seems like it's a bit high. Let's try the bear. Yes, I am very rusty with these iron sights, as you can tell. I am getting a double lung, though, so that is something. Now, you're probably interested in what scopes fit this as well. It's the exact same as the normal 7mm. You can adjust the aim point, the 12 times 50 the 2 to 6 times 26 scope, the 3 to 9 times 40 and the 3 to 9 times 40 just I have different skin color of them. I reckon this scope looks the best on this gun. Fits it quite nicely. Let me just turn around so you can have a better look at it. I like that scope the best. Some people might like the 3 times 9 one, or the 3 to 9 one. But I think the black stands out quite too much compared to the actual gun. But that's just my opinion. And I'll just show you the other two scopes. Whoops, I don't want to go to clothing. 12 times 50 scope. This is what this one looks like on the gun. And of course, that leaves the aim point. And that's what the aim point looks like. I do like the aim point when you aim down the sights here. There's actually like a red scope in the middle there, isn't that awesome? And here's what the gun looks like in third person aiming down the sights. As you can see there. And I'll show you without the scope on. So you can have a better look. See if I can get it in the sun the best I can. There we go. See that artwork? Oh, look at that. That's probably better. Now you can see it better. Looks like there's two female deer and a male on the very left-hand side. I think it's caribou, if I had to make a guess. That's reindeer. Looks a bit like them, but there you go. Let's see how it performs out in the field now. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'll get the female nice and close. Oh no, there's another one coming over. Hang on, what is that? 
Oh, it's a different female. Must be a whole group of them back there. See, the closer I can get this female, the better, because obviously I'll have a higher chance to hit her when she's fleeing. At least that's what the plan is. <laughs> Whether it successfully plays out is another thing coming. So there's three of them. I probably won't be able to get the three, just because I have to do manual reload here. If I was auto reload, it might be a bit different. And again. Alright, I think I'll go for the male in just about a few seconds. Oh, that was close. Far out. Lucky I reloaded that. See how I had manual reload on? That didn't auto reload the bolt chamber then. <laughs> I would have stuffed that up completely otherwise. Alright, lucky I'm fully reloaded now. Close. Alright. I think I'll go for it now. Best of luck to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot and then hold my breath afterwards. That way I have more steadiness when the pig runs. Alright, let's go. I might have nicked it. I might have. I might have got all three. But see that little trick that I just used then? You gotta shoot and then hold your breath on the next follow up shot. That way um, it's a lot more steady. Kinda just break the game mechanic a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's harvest. So that was a brain. That was without holding my breath. And this one was withholding my breath. I'm not sure why I dropped this, to be honest. I thought I hit too high. Might have got its spine. Yeah, I did. Holy moly. That was smart. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. Um, spine 2 and 3. Okay. Because I, I, did, I did notice I aimed a bit high there when I let go of the trigger. But uh, that's why she dropped. What about this one? I'm not even sure if I hit this one or not. I might have just nicked her tail. Hopefully she does die. Unless I missed. I could have missed. I think I missed. Did I miss? Wait, what is this? Oh my god, I hit it. <laughs> I actually hit the bloody thing. Alright, that was a triple kill then, hopefully. If Bandit decides to track this, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, yep. Yeah. Triple kill. Nice one. Yep, oh, Bandit's a bit excited. Oh, oh that's because I was in bedding state. He barked, and then I went too close, and it ran, and then died a bit. That's what happens when it goes to bedding state. You just run at animals when they're in bedding state, and then they just bleed out and die, even though they look... Like, sometimes they're about to charge you, but at the last millisecond, they will actually die before they get the chance to charge you. Before the animation fully plays out, that is. So you don't have to panic and do, like, a, a follow-up shot. Don't worry. Oh, uh, look, I actually killed it with just the hip bone. I told you, man, I just nicked its ass or something, man. Look at that. Far out. <laughs> actually proud of that. Alright. Neat. It's a shame they all didn't die in the one spot and I could try for shot all three. But what can you do? And this is just a little surprise at the end of the video here. Because I come across... Yep, that's right. An albino rosebelt elk. And I take her out with the new 7mm golden bullpup. <laughs>
I decided to take her out with the iron sights here as well just to show you what it looks like and everything like that <laughs> is that random black tail running across so I did have to shoot pretty fast here because there was another elk to my left coming in I hit her, and she'll go down just over there. And she's down. Let's run over and collect her. So you could see the full gun in action there, in iron sights. Then if I was to use a scope, you wouldn't see any of the reload or anything like that. So I get my dog Bandit to track it. Try to get as much footage as I could before I finally shot her. But again, I did have to rush it a bit because there was an elk to my left that was coming in. But here she is here. Very nice. She's definitely, definitely albino. That's for sure. Let's harvest her. Very nice. And let's take the trophy shot. And what a great trophy shot this turns out to be. That's it for this video. Remember, if you want to see more content from me, you can always check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.